scenes. Or, cool. Well, not all of them. Most of them. A few of them. Okay, two. And that's how many we have right now that we're trying to make a nice little list of all the frames we're going to have to render. Mm. Fewer frames, the better. Yeah. Shorter. Hey, right. What's the knife for? I'm opening batteries, batteries. <laughs> for our fantastic presenting it. Tim, what are you working on? It always comes back to I'm trying to get it so the coins don't clip the walls. So, it's, it's a mouse. It's a crack bulb for a mouse. And then there's two. I've well, yeah, but pretty much got the coins to fall down to the second scene. So it's like we're calling it now. Rotate around the funnel. It's like scrap like wrist bone. Like, <laughs> That's what I always do. Stop the fall over. Well, yeah. Congratulations and on your purchase. Oh, God, Why, thank so you. People can rise up. Up. So we've got a lot of scenes. Kind of visualize how the people are going to walk out because before they walk up and then flip on their head the next frame, which would not have been enjoyable. Yeah. Get your hand. Especially with our freaky looking man. That'd be crazy. Memory <laughs> <laughs> Yes. The spinning coin. Uh, just say the word. This is Carl. Carl. Hiya. Galaxy. <laughs> I'm trying to get this guy so, back uh, into um, a. I mean, if you get a whole lot of people together, it's pose, a brawl. Maybe sports. a little robotic pose. Really about the only two, I think. Yeah. It's being a pain. So what are you working on? I'm doing the lip syncing and sound right now. And, well, I need to get this out of the way just to start to uh, get a position his mouth the right way. Let's look at his mouth right now. I don't know. I, I'm tempted to submit this to like some <laughs> website that specializes in horror. <laughs> I'm not really doing anything right now, I'm just kind of messing with the soft body system to see if I can make... Back into shape! How did it do that? Things cool. collide with each other and act realistically. But, uh... Oh yeah. Let's see the finger move. Oops. Okay, it's not going to do that in the movie, I swear. <laughs> So I got this guy to um, uh, get his eyebrows moving, get his lips uh, in the right positions, and talking. And, uh, here's what I got so far. Pause. What's he actually saying? Uh, whatever. You want to go again? We're talking yeah, trash yeah, on him. Yeah. Oh, 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 And very cool. There we go. That's the <laughs> that's the most of it. So once you make the models and you add the animation sequences in for the different keyframes and have the models start moving, the next thing that you would be doing is rendering the animations, which basically is you make each frame, you apply the textures and models, well, you apply the textures to the models, and then it bakes the image together, and you get what it'll actually look like when you play the video. Like this scene is an opening scene, it has the lighting effects, it has the texture for the floor, and the shadows for the funnel, and then if you actually render the full animation, it'll go through each frame 
and you'll see as the cameras move up and different action takes place in the video what the video is going to look like. Okay, <laughs> um, so basically all these computers are, are going to be rendering. A minute when Tim gets the server fixed. Um, and then hopefully when that class is done, we can get the other lab working and rendering. So basically each computer renders one frame and then sends it back to the server and asks for another frame to render. So it's distributed rendering and we wrote it.